when I was a senior in college, I had an internship in the Senate with the junior senator for Washington State, Maria Cantwell. I wanted to work in Congress because to me, that was where the center of all of this change is happening. Plus, just some of the changes I was seeing on a national scale really served as a catalyst for me wanting to go back to school and get a degree so that I can have the power to change things. I think I'm a lot more aware of what's going on in the world than I was prior to law school, which is funny to say because I literally worked in the news before I came to law school. When I read the New York Times in the morning, I have a better understanding of why a Supreme Court decision will be impactful beyond how the ruling in that specific case happened or why a certain congressional activity is likely or unlikely to fail. I think it's made me a more thoughtful person in terms of considering both sides of arguments, even when I am personally or maybe emotionally likely to agree with one side. I was in Professor Mannheim's election law class the winter of 2021. Our class, I think, was scheduled to start January 7th, and the insurrection happened on January 6th. So we had all completed our first day of class reading assignment for election law. We're learning about how the United States is governed by the rule of law and it is a democracy. And this is how we keep those democratic systems, you know, in check. And we all are watching videos of literally a mob storming our Capitol building. Professor Mannheim sent out an incredible video and um, email to everyone in that class kind of talking about what had happened and why instead of feeling frustrated or I mean in addition to feeling frustrated or whatever else we're feeling we should also see this as an opportunity to recommit ourselves to our belief in the rule of law. It's really interesting and exciting to be part of a community where people are so engaged and passionate about what they're doing even though the things that they're doing, you know, diverge wildly. Just in my class alone, there are people who are so passionate about criminal defense, people who are so passionate about environmental law. There's like a whole gamut, but we all come from a similar viewpoint of really committing ourselves to the study of law and being interested in, you know, changing how the world works on some level. Ultimately, what I'm interested in doing is providing pro bono legal, legal services um, to the fullest extent that I can, and also ensuring that the legal profession remains a profession that I'm proud to be a part of by really putting forward strong, sound, scholarly arguments that you know support generally the rule of law in our society and kind of the role of attorneys as passionate and dedicated advocates, but also as professionals who, you know, have a, a higher purpose that they need to answer to. I will start my post-law school life as a clerk in the Western District of Washington, which is our federal district court here in Seattle, clerking for Judge Lasnik. And then my current plan is to return to the law firm that I spent my 2L summer with, which is down in Los Angeles doing civil litigation.